myself and students hope you all have revised and enjoyed whatever we have done in video number 1 now in this video i am going to start with some facts about subtraction which you should know okay so our first fact is if you are having two numbers suppose you are having two numbers that means 7 and 3 right so if you will remove 3 from 7 If you will remove three from seven, the answer will be four. The answer will be four, or you can say the difference will be four, right? So this difference will always be lesser than this bigger number. I'm repeating. If you will remove three from seven, you will get the difference of four. So four will always be lesser than this. Seven, right? So this is our fact number one, right? The difference is always be lesser than bigger number, right? Okay. Now fact number two. If you will remove zero from any number, if you will remove zero from any number, suppose. I am having seven, and I will remove zero from the seven, right? So what will be the answer? The answer will be number itself. The answer will be number itself. So this is our fact number two. If you will remove zero from any number, so you will get the answer number itself, right? So you will get the difference of Number itself, right? So this is our fact number two. Now our fact number three. If you will remove one from any number, if you will remove one from any number, suppose you will remove one from the seven. So what will be the answer? What will be the difference? The difference will be six. Okay, the difference will be six. That means the difference is always be the predecessor of this bigger number. The difference is always be predecessor of this number. So this is our fact number three. If you will remove one from any number, you will get the predecessor of the bigger number. Right. So this is our fact number three. Got it. Now my fact number four. If you will remove any number with itself, right? If you will remove seven from seven itself. So what will be the answer? The answer will be zero. The answer will be zero. Or you can say the difference will be zero. Right. If you will subtract the number from itself only, you will get the difference zero, right? So this is our fact number four. That means if you will remove the number from itself, you will get the answer zero. Three will ask one tenth from his partner. Three will ask one tenth. From his partner, right? So this seven will give one tenth to three, right? And this three will become thirteen. This three will become thirteen. Now thirteen minus four is possible. So thirteen minus four will be nine. Thirteen minus four will be nine. And now this seven will become six. Why six? Because uh, seven has given. One to his partner, right? So this seven will become six. So six minus one will be five. That means fifty-nine is your difference, and fifty-nine is less than seventy-three, right? So fifty-nine is less than your seventy-three. Got it? Now, if you want to check this answer, is it right or wrong? So what will you do? Simple way is just write this fifty nine over here, right? You will write fifty nine over here, 
right? Now you will write this 14 over here. Okay? 14 you will write here. Instead of minus, you will write plus. You will add. And you know how to do add. Now the sum will be, the answer will be this number, 73. If you will get the answer 73, that means this answer is right. Okay? So just see. 9 plus 4 will be 13. 9 plus 4 will be 13. 3 you will write here. 1 will be carry over. Right? So 5 plus 1 will be 6. So 6 plus 1 will be 7. That means 73. Right? You will get the answer 73. Bigger number. Right? That means your 59 is the right, right answer. Right? Hope you all understood this concept very nicely, interestingly and you will connect all these concepts in your daily life. Thank you. Take care. And in next video, we are going to start with our exercise. So get ready with your books. Take care.